Good morning, happy Monday. Today is a very exciting day for me, but also kind of nerve wracking. I am starting a new medication today. It's a monthly injection, it's called Zolaire. I have been waiting probably about two years to try this medication. I have something called mast cell activation syndrome, which is something that's pretty common among EDS patients. A lot of you guys lately have been asking why I wear a mask in public, and that is why. My body just really overreacts to a lot of things in my environment. This causes me to have a lot of allergic reactions to various foods and medications, as well as scents. So when I go out in public, I have to wear the mask because just walking by someone who has a certain perfume, or if there's air freshener or smoke. Even sometimes I'm really bothered by other people's laundry detergents. And of course, I can't really be around the smell of food or food cooking at all, which is kind of sad. <laughs> this medication is supposed to calm down those allergic reactions, and I am really, really hoping that this is going to be an answer for me. It would be amazing if I could try to reintroduce food into my life, or at least be around it, because I can't really go out to dinner with friends or family, and if I go to a party, I have to worry about what food that they're cooking. So I'm putting a lot of hope and faith into this medication. I'm also really nervous though, because apparently some people have like really severe reactions to it but I think we are taking all the proper measures to keep that from happening. This will be my first injection, and after I get it, I have to wait. I don't know if it's two hours or four hours. I'll have to stay in their office for observation just to make sure that I don't have a reaction to it. And then I have to have my EpiPens, like, on me for the next, like, week or so, I think. Apparently you can have a reaction to it, like, any time after, even if you've been doing it for like years, all of a sudden you could have a reaction, so that makes me a little bit nervous. I have luckily never had to use my EpiPen, and I'm pretty terrified of ever having to do it, so hopefully we don't have to do that today. I did it. I've been injected. It was in my arms, which was nice because I was expecting it would be in my stomach. I don't know why I thought that. I feel like someone told me that it was like in your stomach, but it was in your arms and I barely even felt it at all. It was fine. And so I talked to the nurse. She said it's actually very, very rare for someone to have an allergic reaction to it, which is nice. I guess the company that makes the drug just like really hypes it up so that they don't have to be responsible. They like called me a few times and just like, oh yeah, make sure you have your EpiPen on you at all times and it just made me kind of nervous. So I'm glad to hear that it's not actually as risky as I thought it was. We just have to wait around for two hours to make sure I don't have a reaction and then we're good to go. They gave me a nice bed, which was really sweet of them. My mom wishes she had a bed too. <laughs> we are exhausted. She said that maybe after like three or four months, so like three or four doses, that is usually when people start to notice a difference. So I'm really excited for that. I really, really hope that this works. Hello, it's Tuesday night now. It is the day after my first solar injection and I still have not had any negative reaction. So that's really great news. I did wake up this morning with hives all down my arms and my heart just sunk. But then I looked in the mirror to check it out and I noticed that the nurse must have sneakily put little band-aids over the injection sites. I had no idea if she put band-aids on and I'm allergic. So I took them off and then it was totally fine. Also update on the knee situation. You guys have been so sweet and your comments have been so helpful. I saw my physical therapist again today. She was a little bit worried about it. It was still swollen and it was kind of swelling under the kneecap. The kneecap was in a funny place. The bones of my leg were kind of twisted. Like everything was just kind of weird. And 
she tried to get it back into place but it was still too painful for me to really like bear weight during my exercises so I could only do like my exercises on my other leg on my left leg which is weird because my left side's usually the weaker one so anyway we kind of consulted with the guy who makes my braces and unfortunately I am going out of town on Thursday morning for a week we are going back down south for some more checkups with my doctors. I'm seeing my hematologist and the TMJ specialist again. So yeah, there's no way that we could have gotten a brace that would work before I had to leave. So we are going to wait until I come back and just hope that like it miraculously starts to feel better while I'm gone. A lot of you guys kind of asked if I could just like buy a brace. And it's a little bit more confusing than that because I do have like a skin allergy to neoprene which is that like stretchy fabric that they use on braces. Um, I have a bunch of them from years ago when I used to be able to wear them but now my skin reacts to it. I put this one on for a little while today and I felt so much better for like five or ten minutes until the hive started. <laughs> I'm trying different things. I'm trying to like wear leggings under it or wear like a sock with the toe cut off. Unfortunately like the second I introduce that layer in between I get a lot of movement with the brace. It just slides around on the kneecap and obviously that's not what we want. My physical therapist today was actually kind of hesitant to have me wear anything with that classic patella hole, I guess you would call it, uh, because my kneecap does sublux so easily and she was worried it would kind of sublux in the brace and then the brace would hold it like that, which was totally valid because that's exactly what happened when I tried this one on earlier. The knee is still functional so that's why we're not really rushing into any kind of immobilization bracing it moves still and it will bear weight but it really really hurts and sometimes it buckles or um hyper extends backwards but for the most part like it still works <laughs> it just really hurts hi guys i just got done filming one of my more main videos, one of the part of the Living with EDS series. This one is going to be about what I have learned after having a feeding tube for a whole year. <laughs> this coming week is Feeding Tube Awareness Week. I think it's February 6th through the 11th. Um, I will be gone. For a lot of that, I'm going back down south to see some doctors, so I had to make sure that I had at least filmed it and had the footage on my laptop. That way I can edit it when I get down there and upload it during the appropriate time. <sighs> but I just wanted to take a second and say, oh my goodness, you guys, this channel has grown so much. Even just in the last week, I just refreshed my YouTube and we officially have hit 2,488 subscribers. That is so insane to me. I just filmed my 1,000 subscriber video. I just don't even know what to say. Thank you guys so, so much. I have loved it this last week, especially because so many of you have been commenting your stories and you know just commenting on other people's comments helping each other out that just makes me so happy like I said before it's not really about the numbers for me it's more about just the individual people that I have gotten to know through this and now there are almost 2,500 of you guys to get to know so I'm just over the moon so thank you if you are a new subscriber hi I'm Christina, I'm 21, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and I also have dozens of other comorbidities. You probably know how it is if you're watching these videos. I do have a Get to Know Me video. Maybe I will link that right here. That way you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Maybe I should make another one of those. 
or maybe I should make a Q&A. Let me know what you guys think because now there's a lot more of you. Hey Christina, how come you guys don't just fly? Wouldn't that be easier? To answer that question, <laughs> this is how much formula I use in a week. Just formula. These are very heavy. Hopefully that will give you a bit of an idea. Not to mention saline and tubing and bags and an IV pole and wedge pillows and braces. Okay, we are finally heading out. We're running a little bit late, but that's okay. We're gonna get there still. Oh, we are so close. We are like five minutes away and we had to stop to get gas because we always run out of gas at like the last second in the trip because my mom's least favorite thing in the whole entire world is having to pump gas. I don't really know what it is, but she always puts it off because she hates it and then we always almost run out like right at the end. So here we are. It didn't really feel like that long of a trip. I think that we're getting used to driving eight hours. Like, it's not even a big deal anymore. A year ago, like, the thought of driving eight hours was, like, unimaginable. Now we're just like, oh, yeah, we'll just pop down to Maryland for the weekend. <laughs> Whatever. Hi, guys. I am vlogging in the mirror today. Uh, we made it safe and sound to Maryland. We are here. It was so good to see everybody again. Like, we all just sat up and talked, like, all night, which was really nice. But we all had appointments this morning, so now we're all tired. I am about to head out to go see my hematologist. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I can get off the Lovenox injections. I have been doing um, daily blood thinning injections, and you put them into your stomach. <laughs> my stomach is so bruised and sore, and the injections are pretty painful. So it would be nice if I could get off of those. I've reached the point with my stent where I don't really need the Lobinox for that. So bearing any complications with my blood work, I think that we have a good chance that I can get off of it. But hey, like, if I need it, I need it. I am sitting in the CVS parking lot as I always am when I film my updates. So we just got out of the hematologist's office. My appointment went pretty well. Um, all my blood work actually looks pretty good. My iron is still, like, really low. <laughs> We're trying to figure that out. She did prescribe some iron supplements. I've tried probably about five or six so far. I have been allergic to all of them, but I am willing to try again anything to get some iron in my body. She looked at all of my clotting factors, and she said that it looked not terrible, which is always good news. <laughs> But she does want me to stay on my regimen of aspirin and Lovenox injections still. It is what it is. She's running some more tests, and she says if those come back okay, then she might be inclined to take me off the Lovenox and I could just do the aspirin. She said as far as the stent goes, the stent should be fine if I am just doing aspirin. If you guys are new and maybe you don't know, a few months ago I had a stent placed inside of my right jugular vein. I was having a lot of neurological issues and we had some imaging done and they found that I had narrowing and collapsing in some of the blood vessels in and around my brain and in my neck. So we decided to place a stent inside of one of the big veins in my neck. A stent is kind of just like a flexible metal tube that they place inside of the vein or artery to try to hold it open in the places where it wants to close. So we did that, but you do have to be on blood thinners for a while after that. They did want me to stay on the blood thinners even after that because they were worried that I might have a clotting disorder and because I have all of these other areas of narrowing, that would increase my risk pretty greatly for having a stroke. So we are just being really careful at this point. Hopefully that blood work comes back and it's okay and I'm able to get off some of these things. But I am willing to do what I have to do to take care of my body and prevent myself from having a stroke. I have been having a really nice time these last few days, getting to see some friends that I haven't seen in so long. 
nobody quite understands me as well as these girls that I'm staying with right now. We have all been through very similar journeys and we have been through a lot of it together. So it's been really special to be able to catch up with each other and just relate and talk about weird things that our hardware does and stuff like that. Unfortunately, not all of us are doing quite as well as I'm doing. It's been a pretty scary couple days with one of my friends, so I don't know how much more I will be vlogging this week. It's really important to me just to devote as much of my time and energy to her as I can. So I gotta go. I'm actually off to the hospital now to see her. I'm not going to give any details, but I would really, really appreciate that you keep this girl in your thoughts and prayers. It is now much later in the night. I am back from the hospital, and I'm going to be ending this vlog here. Like I said, my friend is really in need of a lot of prayer right now. It is very cruel, and I think sometimes we often forget just how dangerous it can be. Some of the neurological complications that we can experience with this condition can be very dangerous. It is very hard to watch somebody that I love go through some of the worst things that I have ever been through. But I am just really glad that we could be here just at the right time when she needs us most. So on that note, I am going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos and for coming along on another week with me. I am so glad to have all of you on this journey with me, new and old. If you liked this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can hit the little bell icon that's next to my name and they will send you an email and a phone notification when I upload a new video. Tomorrow I am going back to the TMJ specialist, so I will see you then. Goodbye.